Agony. Hi, Geeta. How you doing? Yeah? Enjoy your stay? Yeah? How's your mum? Give him my love. Yeah, you coming out today? What time? Train gets in at 3.30. Okay. No, I'll be there. Yeah. See you then. Bye. <sighs> you weren't followed, were you, Lefty? Do me a favour, Sanji, old son. You know me better than that. Well, what can I do for you? It's not a case of what I can do for you. <laughs> got anything interesting knocking about, then? Yeah, I've got loads of interesting things, Sanjay. Loads. You know me. Dollar deal. Well, such as? Got all of the new CDs in, fresh off the back of a lorry. All the latest hits. Got any Spice Boys? Do you mind? I'm a respectable thief. All right, I'll have a look at them. What else you got? How about three boxes of genuine, 100% ooky costume jewellery? This pack of stuff, you can pass it off as real. Partners won't know the difference. Nah. Too difficult to shift that stuff around Walford. What about ladies' dresses? All designer labels, gooky, Versace, all the greats. Yeah, now you're talking. Let's have a butcher's. Nah, nah, nah. I've got them at home. Oh, well, I can't be too long. I've got to pick Geetra up at the station at 3.30. All right, well, I'll see you there in a bit. OK. <laughs> Look, I want to report a missing person. Look, my wife was supposed to get off the train at 3.30 and I haven't seen her in its hours ago. What do you mean I've got to wait 24 hours? What? Oh, forget it. Now then, you say in your statement that your wife telephoned you to let you know she'd be arriving home at 3.30pm. That's right. We've well, spoken to your sister-in-law. She confirms that she saw Gita get on the train, but you didn't see her get off the train. Is that right, sir? Yeah. Well, I don't know. You see, I was late. I didn't get to the station till nearly four o'clock. Why were you late, sir? I got held up. Heavy traffic. I see, sir. Now, we've also spoken to one of your neighbours. She said that she saw you leave the house at 1.30pm. Is that correct, sir? Yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't take two and a half hours to get to the train station from here, even with heavy traffic. So what did you do in the meantime? I went for a drive around. Drive around? Yeah, I just drove around for a while and I lost track of time. Well, it seems like an odd thing to do, sir. Look, I had some things on my mind and I just wanted to drive around and, and think things through. Can anyone verify this, sir? I, I don't think so, no. I'm, I'm sorry. I see, sir. Tell me, Mr Kapoor, do you and your wife have any marital difficulties? How do you mean? By any rows? Any problems? No, we have a very good relationship. That's not quite true, though, is it, sir? According to your sister-in-law, you and her had an affair some time ago. Is that right, sir? Sandy, I'm scared. What if Gita finds out? She won't. How can she? What about the family? Oh, Mina, stop it. Just enjoy our time together. I feel so guilty. <sighs> Mina, guilt's like a, a sack of bricks. You just need to drop it. You won't say anything about this, though. If anyone can keep a secret, I can. OK, but that was a long time ago. My wife and I made up. We love each other. Your sister-in-law's been telling us that you have frequent rows. Yeah, we have rows, like any couple. But we have a good marriage. You haven't been violent towards your wife, sir. No. What are you trying to suggest? We're just so why haven't you found my wife? Why aren't you out there looking for her? We're just trying to get to the truth, sir. We can't discount the worst-case scenario. You don't think she's dead, do you? Do you? Don't even say that, please. Well, we'll continue with our investigations, Mr Kapoor. In the meantime, don't leave Walford. Please.